Uh, shalom, Markyum. Shalom. Can you come up with Karma Kapash? I'm off Guam. Okay, we're going to start giving all praise to Jihad by Shem Yahweh Shai. Mahar, Kudash for Kar. Why is my light going off? Sort that out, okay. <laughs> that will honor the apostles of GMS and the honor that led to the brethren on the high and by the teaching the truth in all sincerity. Okay. Um, today's lesson is going to be on, um, you know, when you coming in this truth, man, you know, to, to, to pace yourself in this truth, man, you know, and I know we're coming in, like, we're in the end times and every day is, is, is you know, getting close to the end and, you know, a lot of it is expected of you, you know, coming in this thing, but, you know, a lot of you guys, you know, you watch us on, on YouTube for a long time before, you know, you come out and see us and all that kind of stuff, so you should have a, a good understanding with things anyway, but, you know, it's important not to eat too quickly, man. You know, and what I mean is, you know, getting ahead of yourself before you have, you know, the sure foundations, man. Because everybody wants to, you know, put their time and effort in, in learning these scriptures, man. But some, some, um, some brothers, some ex-brothers, you know, go above and beyond to the point where, you know, it destroys them, man. Because, you know, they become proud of it, you know. And they, they and their foundations it wasn't firm enough for them to, to start grabbing up to them higher levels, man, and the only they fall off, you know, going wayward into other doctrines and that because they think they know better, okay, so it's important to pace yourself in this thing because a lot of it is down to experience once you're in this truth, man, it's, mm -hmm. you know, it is about what you know because you should know the basics of everything, I mean, it's not how deep you are, but how resilient you are in this truth, man, you know, how strong your faith is at, at the end of the day, you know, but, um, well, we're going to get the scripture first, it's Revelation chapter 10, verse 9. If you get that for me, please, Art. Yeah, this is uh, Revelation chapter 10, verse 9. It says, And I went to unto the angel and said unto him, Give me the little book. And he said unto me, Take it and eat it up. Okay, the, it, the little book is, <clears throat> the, is the scriptures, man, is, you know, the word. Okay, continue up. And it shall make thy belly bitter. But it shall be in thy mouth sweet as honey. All right, so like when you when you eat food, you put the food in your mouth. Tastes good, tastes damn good. You find out all these things, you know. You you you've been awakened. Mm -hmm. You find out you're an Israelite. Yeah. Find out um, promises. Find out, the, yep. You find out salvation is for you, mm -hmm. and you find out who your enemies are, man. Mm -hmm. So that's all the good shit, man. You know, that's you mean like yes, you know, it's all, it's all well and good, okay. But continue what. <laughs> Um, uh, it says, and as soon, uh, and I took the little book out of the angel's hand and ate it up, and it was in my mouth sweet as honey. And as soon as I had eaten it, my belly was bitter. Okay, so you come in the truth, you're excited, you're full of vigor, okay, you're full of you know, zealousness and you know, mm -hmm. burning with that passion, you know, but. You do this for a certain amount of time, man. You know, you kind of uh, that 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 great fire that you had initially kind of dies down a bit, man, and things start becoming a bit tougher, man. And it's all about keeping that fire at a light, okay? Keeping that that passion going, man. Mm -hmm. Okay, because a lot of people get just disenchanted with stuff, man. You know, they feel excited when they come in the street, but then they're in it a year, they're in it two years, and they know they've been catching hell. You know, with the woman, with, with their friends, with the, the world around them, work, whatever. And they can't take it. Because they're not strong enough inside. You know, it's all about that faith, man. Because that faith is what makes you strong. And that, that is given to you by the Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai. And that is the only way you can push on with things, man. By truly believing in what you're doing. I've got a definition of the word here, persevere. Mm. Uh, the definition of persevere means to continue... In a, in a course of action Even in the face of difficulty Or with little or no indication of success mm -hmm. You know, and you know That's one type of guys that come in this truth Another type of guys that come in this truth That don't do so well Is those that got something to prove <clears throat> You know, they come in this truth You know They just learn it You know, and, and, you know top marks for, for Zealousness and, you know Learning the scriptures and that Great but, you know, some, some, some people, you know, <laughs> shoot above their stations, man. 
starting to think they're better than others that are around them and they can't respect order and those that do have order abuse their power okay abuse their rank okay thinking that they they well that they're better you know but at the end of the day it doesn't matter how many scriptures you know you know because like i said there's plenty of examples we could, we could give you you know it doesn't matter about that you know it's, it's about your dedication man okay to yahweh shim yahweh shai and to the brotherhood okay it's all about dedication man and following orders man it's, it's about following orders okay there is an order man okay and you have to get down with that and you have to be happy with your station man if the lord want to promote you then the spirit will make it happen Okay, the spirit will make it happen, man. Just do what you need to do. Seek ye your own salvation, man. Okay, be on point, but make sure you make sure you're on point, man. Don't be going wayward, you know, becoming high-minded and started diving into different things, thinking that, oh, they got this bit wrong, or you know, because because of your understanding, because when you come in the shoe, your, your understanding is not completely there. Okay, that's just that's just real. Your your understanding is not there. You've not experienced. Enough to, to fully understand the scriptures, man, because it takes time, it takes the spirit to, to work with you, to grow with you, for you to get a, a more complete and rounded understanding, man. Because uh, how we looked at things when we first come in this truth is different to how we see things now. Mm -hmm. You know, we have a deeper understanding <coughs> of certain things, and some of the things only comes through experiencing it. Mm -hmm. You know, it's not just purely reading it, because the, the, the scriptures are, li are, living, are living waters, man. Okay, this whole thing is living. Okay, and we have to grow, with, with the Spirit has to grow us, man, to, to bring us to these understandings, man. You know, that's why there's brothers on different levels. Okay, mm -hmm. so you have to be mindful of brothers and how long they've been in it, man, because they've proven up until at least that point that they have what it takes to stick, stick things out. Okay, beyond you. If you've only just come in this truth, man, you can't be <laughs> looking at a brother sideways, man. You know, for, I mean, for any reason. You I've know got, what I'm saying? Oh, yeah, I've got a precept here, um... The points in the seventh and eighth verse, but I'm gonna read from the second verse. <clears throat> this is a good example, uh, Prophet Paul. All right, um, Second Timothy chapter four, verse two: Preach the word, be instant in season. All right, part mm -hmm. of putting putting that uh, that um, that eating that roll, so to speak, putting digesting this word, is becoming a student first, and then second, becoming a teacher. And that's why we go on the highways and byways and, um, to prophesy and bring out this truth to wake up our brothers. Well, the thing is, you might just hold pause for time. You, you know what I mean? Yeah. And that might seem, that might seem mm, you know, menial. Mm, good point. You know what I mean? But that's your rank at the moment, man. Mm. You're not on that level yet to be to do anything <laughs> beyond that yet because you're not grown enough. And you might just have to accept that, man, and, and pray that the Lord you know, do something about that. You know what I mean? You know, you make sure you're studying that. And you know you can demonstrate your abilities to teach and, and whatnot. You know what I mean. But sometimes brothers might just hold posts for oh, however long it is, man. You know it shouldn't be too long, but you might hold posts for a while, man, or whatever it is. Hold, hold signs, whatever. You know before you get to you know put yourself out there. Yeah, it said um, preach the word, be instant in season and out of season so that's a difficulty in itself but you've got to perse persevere through the the different times mm -hmm. you know I mean, it might be snowing cold whatever it be you know and the longer this race goes on you you get people start mm -hmm. thinking ah oh, man you know what? i don't want to go out there no more yeah well it's happened people, <coughs> people have done that you know people come out then stop coming out mm. they don't want to see any the, these other camps they just stop going out completely you know <laughs> in the winter man nah, that's, that's vacation time you know, but the room and the Lord, they're always out there, man. It's an all-round trial, man. That's right. We don't get to have day, we don't get to book days off. We've got, work, we've got work to do, man. Out of season, reprove, rebuke, exhort with all long suffering and doc doctrine. For the time will come when they will not endure sound doctrine. Mm. But after their own lust shall they heap to themselves teachers having itching ears. So the longer some guys stay in this truth... <laughs> they get to that, um, you know, when you, so to speak, when you hit a wall, when you might be training, all right, and you start to run out of that that, that sugar, that glucose, man, then you just got to start running off some alternative energies. <laughs> <laughs> you hit a wall. Fight off. Well, Fight off. <clears throat> when that When that faith starts to take a, you know, your faith in its truth can be like wavery, you <clears throat> know, up and down. Nonetheless, you got to keep, like the brother said, you got to keep that faith burning, man. Mm -hmm. That That passion. 
that zeal. It's like it's, uh, a, it's, it's no, it's no mistake. This thing will be difficult. It is <clears> meant to. <throat> it is meant to be difficult, you know. But some people get soft, and then they look at guys like IUIC and thinking, "Wow, you know, their doctrine is not mm. that much different. Like, maybe I should like. Why <laughs> yep. do we do this? Like, why exactly. why do we go through all this? I could just be with them. Yeah, you know, and have a party every Passover yep. and and whatever, man. But that's not the way. Yeah, that's that's the issue. That is not the way. Yeah, you could go do that. <laughs> You could go do that. But the fact is, man, if you do that, that ain't the way and you're going to be destroyed. And yeah, our Shai was um, uh, tried by Satan. Satan mm. tempted the Lord. That's right. So how much more is the, uh, Satan going to tempt tempt um, tempt his servants, man? That's right. We're so, all in, on trial, man. Mm -hmm. And Satan goes after the weak. So when you're at your weakest, mm -hmm. that's when those ears start getting itchy. You <laughs> say, oh, <laughs> that was... Mm. The apostles are wrong. Yeah, they this, get stuck this, in emotion like, or finding excuses because you know, they can't deal with the hardship. Flat earth. And you'll get guys who really go into weird doctrines, man, and, you know, without even having a mm. thought but to realise I'm going to address stupid. that in a minute, man, because scripture forbids all that madness. Man. Yeah. <laughs> okay, but I'm going to get that in, about that in a minute. So um, I'll read on. It says, um, it says, and they shall turn away their ears from the truth Mm -hmm. And shall be turned unto fables. Yeah. And that's how Satan gets down, man. He's he's trying to get you out of this truth. Puts that doubt in your mind. That was a powerful thing, man. Mm -hmm. You know, if you don't have the strength, to, to, the faith to combat that, <clears throat> you're only going to fail. Yeah. And they shall turn... Yeah. Uh, verse 5. But watch thou in all things. So see all those examples of men. But you watch it thou in all things. Endure afflictions. So if you're going through things, that's a good thing, man. Then you mm. know you're staying your course. When things start to get a bit too comfortable, mm. you go ask yourself, "What am I? What's going on?" Well, that's it. It's your ability to deal with those things, man. It's, this is about <laughs> resilience, mm. Resi great resilience, man. Perseverance, the bro brought up, man. Okay, that that's one of the main things, you know, because that builds your faith. Yep. You know, but thou in all things endure afflictions, do the work of an evangelist. Make full proof of thy ministry, for I am now ready to be offered, and the time of my departure is at hand. I have fought a good fight, I have finished my course, I have kept the faith. Yeah, man, so stay the course, you know, to the end, even if it means, whatever it means, man, some brothers are going to die, in, mm -hmm. uh, you know, um, for a record, you know. And some some other brothers are gonna be saved, man. But you gotta have faith, and part of um, establishing your faith is just doing the work, man. I mean, it's important to get to the end, man. If you can't manage it, I mean, there's another scripture about um, uh, counting the cost. You know, whether or not you'll be able to finish what you started, man. Yeah. You know, you have to have an idea of what you might <clears throat> encounter. To to like to have a kind of gauge that you you can you can do that because mm -hmm. if you can't do that you're wasting your time. If you can't stand out in the cold every winter, you're wasting your time. Mm -hmm. Okay, if you can't do your three videos a, a week, you're wasting your time. Mm -hmm. Okay, and whatever videos in the future, you know, wherever it is, if you can't do those things, then you are just wasting your time. Okay, and you gotta be you yeah, yeah, like I said, it's maintaining that fire, man. Okay, brothers, like brothers said, you know, flame fluctuates, man, mm. you know, but keep pushing, you keep pushing, you keep pushing, man, you know, we fall down, everybody falls down, you know, it's just what it is, okay, much more on that, is that it? Yeah, um, last verse, henceforth there is laid up for me a crown of righteousness, so you got to meditate on, on, on the prize, man, mm. on the goal, which is Yahweh Shai and the kingdom. Yeah, but some people want to seek an easier way, mm -hmm. you know. Henceforth there is laid up for me a crown of righteousness, which the Lord, the, the righteous judge, shall give me at the, that day, and not to me only, but unto all them also that love his appearing. That should be it. Yeah, that's it. Yeah, that's right. it. Okay, uh, yeah, give us uh, <coughs> Hebrews chapter 5 verse 12, please. You know, cause it's, like I said, it's important to stay on the course, man. You know, you was drawn in by this word. Okay, you continue in that word. Okay, you wasn't 
prized by another camp or another group okay if you came into gms it's because the we were speaking the word to you and it engaged with you the spirit engaged with you man and brought you in it resonated with you man now for you to turn your like to turn your back on that and do whatever you want to do that that that's that's fake mm -hmm. that's fake that means you give up man and you've gone into something else because it's more convenient for you yeah it's just easier you know but that wasn't what caught you man because if you listen to us long enough you know what we believe in mm -hmm. you know so you shouldn't like, none of it should be a surprise there might be deeper levels of understanding with certain things mm -hmm. but ultimately you know okay so for you to come in now and then decide that's not what it is that's that's bs man <laughs> you know satan got to you that's just what it is satan got to you okay put that that thought in your mind and it bugged you out. Okay. This is Hebrews 5 and 12. For when, for the time ye ought to be teachers, ye have need that one teach you again, which be the first principles of the oracles of God, and are become such as have need need of milk. All right, so you come out of the world with these certain ideas and that, and you thought you was on a level with certain things. Turns out, these people are not on a level at all. So... It's our job to teach, to retrain, like to re, re redo you what you know, basically, to bring you down to base level again, kindergarten, and start teaching you stuff again, man. Because you don't know. Okay, because everyone's got a high mind and believes that they know stuff, man. But the truth is, when, when, you dig, when you dig down, they don't know shit. Okay, it's all rhetoric, okay? Read or not. Um, it says... Uh, and are become such as have need of milk and not of strong meat. Right, so at the beginning is milk, just like a child is, you know, needs milk, it needs to be weaned off, off on the milk, okay? So that's how things begin. When you have to start up again, you're starting on milk, on basics, okay? That deeper stuff is not is not for you yet, okay? You've not become seasoned enough to deal with the hard, harder foods, man. Okay, you are concentrate on getting that milk to be nourished. Okay, to get you to a, a certain level. Okay, then beyond that, you know, if you get beyond that, then then, then the meat comes. Okay, levels. Okay, we don't know. Uh, for everyone that useth milk is unskillful in the word of righteousness, for he is a babe. All right, so you're you're a babe <coughs> in this truth, man. You're a youngling. Okay, when you come in the truth, you're a young, you don't know shit, you're learning, you're still learning. Because at the end of the day, it, it comes down to time served, okay? It comes down to time served, man, because you're still not grown enough yet in the spirit. You're not allowed enough time to, okay? So it's like when all of us came in, man, and we're still, well, I'm going to take it back, we're still young in the street, man. Mm -hmm. You consider this, you know, brothers, if, if brothers been here eight, nine years maybe now, you know, imagine that if you started again, then you're only eight, nine years old. You were young. Mm -hmm. You know, the elders now, 30 years. They're full grown men mm -hmm. in this truth, in the spirit. Mm -hmm. 30 years of grownness, you know. We're still young. Okay, so you have to show some respect for that, man, because they've done something that you've not even been able to do as of this moment in time yet. <laughs> yeah. Okay? So, and, you know, and you was drawn in off their, their spirit and their uh, doctrine that the, that the spirit is dealing with them, man. Mm -hmm. Okay, so, you know, you have to show the respect, okay? You don't know. It says, but strong meat belongeth to them that are of full age. I, the elders apostles, mm -hmm. okay. Uh, even those who be, who by reason of use have their senses exercised to discern both good and evil. Right, the spirit is working on with, with them on a higher level, man. Just, that's just what it is. It's working on them with a higher level. So it doesn't matter how good or how deep you think you are. If you've not done what the elders are doing, man, the Lord ain't dealing with you like that, man. You're not, your senses are not so keen as the elders, man. Okay, because the spirit is, is dealing with them on a higher level than you are, man. Okay, they... they, they <laughs> You know, that's just what it is, man. They've been doing this a lot longer than us. They've experienced a lot more things than us. And that goes, it says, have their senses exercised. Well, that comes with experience. Mm -hmm. 
exercise is like practice. It's you're you're practicing something over repetitively. Yeah, it's familiar. They've done that for thirty plus years. Second. And nature. you might have only done it for three, four years. How did how did you then become on a higher level? Doesn't work like that, man. You've not had your senses exercised. Mm -hmm. Okay. It's, so yeah, it's, it's, slow down. Just sit in your station do what you need to do for your salvation in this truth man mm -hmm. make sure you stay true to what you've been taught okay stay underneath yourself that's right and don't be if you're if you're, if you're like you know infatuated with or easy sway with you know other doctrines and stuff like that, just stay away from it don't watch other kinds of videos don't go into anything <laughs> that booky shit okay just stick with the scriptures around and with the elders and you know with the brothers around you man Okay, because if it, if that stuff just bugs your mind, that you better off staying away from it. If you can't deal with it, you know. Word definition, and I've got a scripture after this. This uh -huh. is uh, the word humility. It says the quality of having a modest or low view of one's importance, and that's what the brothers are describing to you, man. You got to stay under yourself. Uh, other synonymous words are uh, humbleness, meekness, lack of pride, lack of vanity. You know, basically, just stop thinking that you've got to exceed to levitation levels. You've just got to just stay on this stuff. Just be like, look, man, this is the job in hand. You know, you don't, when you go to work, you don't want to, you know, I don't like a guy who makes a simple job complicated. Mm -hmm. It's a simple job, just do the job. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And that's, that's, you know, it ain't supposed to be complicated. You can't do no wrong in this truth, man. If you do what you're supposed to do, you do your study and do your video. Do what you're supposed to do. You can't go wrong. And maintain your course. You can't go wrong, man. If you start wanting to jump levels and do this and do that and start messing with shit, then whether you're right or not, you won't cause all kinds of aggravation, man. Mm -hmm. And that that could lead down a slippery road for you, man. Okay? Because you're going you're gonna to start acting up. Because like I said... You're a child in this thing, and child children are British. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Children are British, man, and they start saying things and doing things they shouldn't be doing. You know, they feel offended. That's children right. always feel offended. Mm -hmm. You know, and that's why you get guys, when they fall out, they start talking too much shit. They could have repented mm -hmm. and be brought back into the fold, that's so to speak, and, and be humble. You know what I mean? That's why rebuke is important, man. Mm -hmm. Okay, but it's, it's important to also be able to take rebuke. Mm. Okay, you need to be level, level enough to take rebuke, man. Take criticism. I know I like taking criticism, but sometimes it's well deserved. Mm -hmm. Okay, sometimes it's well deserved, and you have to take shit on the chin. Okay, but you have to be level enough to take the rebuke, man. Because you start, this is what gets you in trouble, man. The scripture tells you, man, it's uh, not what goes into the body, what what cometh out that causes the, the, yeah. that causes the sin or something like that. Yeah, Which, you know, so. It, you could let yourself in a world full of pain for that with the most time, man. Mm -hmm. And you don't even realise it. You mm -hmm. know? Um, yeah, man, like the brother's saying, if I may add, um, it's really one of them things where when you come into this truth, you really realise your biggest enemy is yourself. Mm. Because that ego is what's speaking and cranking the wheels in your mind, which is really Satan. That's why the scripture says the heart is deceitful mm -hmm. above all things. Who may know it? Because really... Your your mind's just coming up with all these excuses for yourself, and mm. you you think it's you think you're really it, it's, justified. In, yeah, you, you think you're making logic, but it ain't really logic. It's just your emotions. And like I said, man, if you keep things simple, man, you gonna be alright, man. Just keep shit simple, man. And you know, if the Lord wants to raise you up on a certain level, you will do. Yeah. Don't have to. You don't have to worry about that. This is you know? uh, Sirach three and twenty one. Seek not out things that are too hard for thee, yep. neither search the things that are above thy strength. All right, so, oh, yeah, well, yeah. starting off with the milk, yeah, yeah. you know, that's where you start off with, man. But when you start getting to eat meat, you're not going to be able to, you're not necessarily going to be able to understand everything that you read, man. Yeah. You know, sometimes it's going to take time to settle in, you know, take time to marinate in your mind the, the fullness of, of it. You know, and if you can't deal with something and it's, it's you know, it's, it's, it's fucking with you, man, just just leave it alone. You know, wait to such a time where the Mosai feels it's suitable for you to have that understanding, man. Okay, don't don't get bugging out. Think, oh, I can't. I need to know what this is. Yeah. You you know you don't need to know. What you need to know is, well, you probably already know. But that <laughs> deep stuff, 
you know what I mean? Need to know basis. Is yeah. What it's there for. You know what I mean? But you don't need to know specific things. It's not necessary. It's not completely relevant to your, your salvation. salvation. Yeah. Okay. People get bugged that, but it's not. Some things. Are, it's just not. It's you no know, like where the tribe of Dan. That <laughs> <laughs> that is. You don't need to know. Okay. We well, could lose your mind over it. You know, it, it it's deep, but it's not that deep. You know what I mean? Yeah. You know, it is what it is. You know, Dan's not here. That's Where it. Are they? <laughs> Dan's not here. That's what you Where? need to know. <laughs> Let's not get into the ins and outs of everything. That's just what yeah. it is. Okay, so, but if you encounter something in the scripture you can't completely understand and it's driving you crazy, don't let it drive you crazy, man. Just leave it alone. Leave it alone. Wait until such a time where Moses gives you that understanding, if he gives you that understanding. Okay, deal with what you know. That's the, ooh, that's the most important thing. Deal with what you know. Do that well. Precept. You know? Ephesians 4 and uh, 10 points in 12. He that descended is the same also that ascended up far above all heavens that he might fill all things. And he gave some apostles and some prophets and some evangelists and some pastors and some teachers. So there's an order in this thing. Uh, you know, basically to make sure brothers be in check, man. Mm -hmm. um, and and for the well, it's gonna go Positions on to say and ranks, yeah. for the perfecting of the saints, for the work of the ministry, for the edifying of the body of Yahweh Shai. So yeah, man, you might not know something, but then different brothers might know something. You ask a brother, you'll edify you on it. Yeah, because that's what we're really here don't for. Don't have that proud like I know everything. <laughs> I don't need to be told that I know that already. Yeah, man, we, you know, me, I'm still asking for stuff, man. You know what I mean? My memory is terrible, man. My memory is terrible. So, you know, when it when it comes to like, you know, verses and stuff like that, I might remember what the verse says, but you know, not necessarily the the verse or chapter. It's you know, maybe book sometimes, man. Some my my, my mind's on the fritz sometimes, man. Mm -hmm. You know, but I got my I got my brothers there with me to help me out.